Welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Saturday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Lexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 11, verses 27 through 28. And let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage proclaimed by Michael Toole. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Today's gospel reading according to St. Luke was a beautiful tribute, first to Jesus himself, but also to his mother, someone presumably totally unknown to the speaker. And indeed, we on a very different level do recognize the extraordinary privilege that was Mary's, to be the mother of God's only begotten son. And so we pray to Mary, blessed are you among women. But Jesus turns the woman's words around. Still happier, Jesus says, are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Greatness in God's eyes lies not in gifts and privileges that have been granted, but in the response that is given to God. You see, the true source of our Blessed Mother's greatness was not in her being chosen to be Jesus' mother, nor even in her preservation from original sin, but in that unconditional yes, her fiat that she gave to the angel at the Annunciation, a yes that she faithfully honored to the day that she stood in grief at the foot of the cross. She heard the word and she kept it to the very end. Some of the people we saw Jesus arguing with yesterday were powerful and influential in their society. They were the great ones of that society, but they neither heard nor saw nor kept the word of God, although they claimed to be experts in it. And even Jesus himself was not great just because of his powers over demons nor his ability to silence his accusers, but because he too heard the word of his father and kept it, he did the will of the father. There was a total identity between what his father wanted, what God the father wanted, and what Jesus was saying and doing. Jesus was the perfection of God the father's will. Us too, it must be exactly the same. That is the only greatness that matters the only greatness that we need to be concerned about, to humbly do God's will. Let us always say yes to God's will and let us always work to fulfill it. Something to ponder this day. After our closing prayer, we read the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you, even just a small word or through a verse that touches you and to ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and how you may spiritually grow closer to him to do the Father's will. Let us complete our divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 
And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, you know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, and if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. But also, pass these on to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you, and have a great day.